Grand Early Rising, and it is what? Coffee time. I haven't done a coffee time video in a moment. So the coffee of the morning is by 8 o'clock. Okay. And it is the espresso. And yes, it is piping hot. It is piping hot. And I use um, International Delight for cream, my creamer. And yes, I already have the altar open. I have my road opening uh, incense going. And it is approximately about 3.30. It is 3.45. 3.45. Yes. A.M. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I knew something was pulling. It was one of my locks. It was one of my locks. I'm going to have to double this one. So today, we are going to do what? Hit that gym. We're going to hit the gym. We're going to hit the gym. I guess I'll leave for the gym around um, 6. Yeah, we'll leave around six this morning for the gym. And after the gym, we're going to hit the doggy park. We're going to hit the doggy park afterwards. Um, Y'all, yesterday I bought, you talking about my cup runneth over. It sure is. <laughs> my cup is running over. And I went and got me some groceries. I keep my um I keep my groceries stocked. I keep them stocked. So y'all could go back and, and take a look at my grocery haul. I got so much stuff. I barely had any room to put anything, but I got it in there. That's right. That's right. My life is for me to live and enjoy, and my money is for me to enjoy life with. So I love I love good living, period. Good food, good wine, good traveling, nice taking nice vacations. How many vacations have y'all been on? Within the last, let me see. I went to Alabama. I train I moved. I relocated to Alabama back in 2015. I started on my dream on my dream employment, which is the Department of Veteran Health Administration, the federal government, Department of Veterans Health Administration, on my birthday. Yes, the most high blessed me with with it on my birthday. So let me tell you this: what's yours is yours. The Most High is going to make sure it come to you, whether it be good or bad. Okay, and um, anyways, I love to travel. I love good living. I love luxury, and I really, uh, I did the damn thing for myself. And so, what I must say, I am very, very proud of myself. Yes, I set my goals and I accomplished every last one of them. Yes, and I have streams of income way before YouTube, okay? I got my master's from Clark Atlanta University in clinical social work. And that's what I do at the Department of Veteran Affairs, Veteran Health Administration. Plus, I served in the Army. So that's two checks right there, fat ones, okay? And 
Yes, I knew the type of lifestyle that I love, which is luxury, and I put in the work. You know, some people, they they want luxury, but they don't want to put in the work. I knew what type of life I wanted for myself, and I got off my ass, and I put in the work. That's why I did both, and I got both fat-ass checks for the rest of my life. So I will always have strings of income. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. You got two types of people. Those who make it happen and those who want to take from those who make it happen. Because they're too lazy to make it happen for themselves. Mm -hmm. I am proud of myself and proud to say that I made it happen for me. That's right. Because see, when you make it happen for you, you will live your luxury life for the rest of your life because you have your own money. When you have your own money, honey, you can do what you want, when you want, buy whatever you want. It never stops. But if you're the type of person that needs somebody else's money for something, oh, baby, your damn facade, your life is done before it even started, honey. Because first of all, it's not even your money. If you need somebody else's check, you need to ride on somebody else's coattail of success and not your own. Mm. You have winners in this world and you have losers. Winners are those of us that set goals and accomplish them and they manifest. Losers are those of you who didn't set any goals and didn't accomplish anything. That's it. That's why you have haters. That's exactly why you have haters. Mm -hmm. I know this person, she dropped out of high school. Now, let me tell y'all something. Anyone that can't make it out of high school, y'all are, are some sad individuals. I'm not going to condone that. And the the parent is to blame. Sure is. Because it's the parent's job to make sure their children make it out of high school. Now, once that person do, once they become an adult, well, that's up to them. But being a high school graduate, that's the parent's job. So this girl, this old-ass woman, old-ass female, she'll be 60 this year. She's probably already 60. Yeah, so she dropped out of high school a long time ago, talking about she had to take care of her mama. Bitch, you use your damn mama as an excuse to drop out of school. That's what she did. Because we all know can't know the goddamn child take care of no adult. And if a person is motherfucking sick, where do they belong? In the goddamn hospital where sick people are. You're not a doctor. You're not a motherfucking nurse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And her mama set up there and let her do it. Her mama wasn't shit. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. It's not funny. People sit up there and ruin their life, and they think they funny, and they think they playing somebody. But let me tell y'all something. Y'all are playing your damn self. When you sit on your behinds and you, you drop out of school, you don't apply yourself to anything worthwhile, you're pissing and shitting over your life. See, I didn't play myself. I knew what type of life I wanted. I know I love good living, and I put in the work. Okay? Because, see, a lot of y'all, y'all think y'all could do mediocre and get a big reward. That is not how the most high work. What you do is what you get. He may throw in a little extra, but he only do that for those of us who get off our ass for our damn self. I love luxury living. I love good travel, taking nice vacations. I love enjoying life. And guess what? I fix my life so I can enjoy life. 
That's why I got two streams of income. See, I work because I want to work, not because I have to. And guess what? I'm on my dream employment. I'm not on no bullshit ass job. Yeah. Some people, they still on low end ass motherfucking jobs. Not me. Plus, I have my own private practice. See, there's nothing wrong with working. Okay. As long as you're advancing in it. When, as long as you're on a job that's advancing in life. But when you're on the same bottom shit all the way to your grave, that's a shame. And I know some of them so well. So I, when they look at me, they see success. And when they look at themselves, they see failures because that's just what they are. They didn't care about an education. And that's what you care. They didn't care about an education. They didn't care about anything. Rather is going to college, starting a business, going into the military. They didn't do anything to better themselves. You're right. You don't have to go to college, but you got to do something. And that's something damn sure ain't sitting on your ass begging people for their money that they worked and earned. How about that? Because you got to be a sick individual to, to think that you're going to have something when you haven't done a damn thing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. And this very same person has been on welfare all her life, even with her husband. <laughs> I have never ever in my life seeing somebody on welfare with a husband. Yeah, SSDI, that's welfare. That's welfare. That's that people get checks from Social Security, talk about they can't work nowhere. Do your thing. If that's that's what you want to do, do it. But don't sit up here and think you're gonna live the life that those of us that got streams of income live. Because if you choose to sit on your motherfucking ass and not earn any income for yourself, you choose to sit on your ass and let somebody else hand you some little piece of shit ass check. But see, you can't be on cruise ships like me, okay? You can't live a good life like me and others. Not by being on somebody's welfare and charity. Uh-uh. And see, those of us that's making our own money, see, we don't have to report shit to nobody. Those of you that's waiting on them old ragged-ass welfare checks, see, y'all got to report to them people. So you better watch yourself. You can't be on too many cruise ships. Because, mm. see, a person that sit on a cruise ship all the time is a person that get off their ass and go to work all the time. It's not a person that sits on their ass in the house and don't work nowhere. Talking about she aching and pain and she can't work nowhere. Honey, I got aches and pains and aches and pains don't stop me from doing a damn thing. I get my ass up and I go to work. I go to the gym. I go wherever. Because guess what? Not working ain't going to stop the damn pain. As a matter of fact, the more you move around, the, the you won't even have as much pain. Now, there's moments you will have a shitload of it, you know, but still. But, mm -hmm. how many of you out there know people like that? They lazy as hell. I'm serious. They lazy as hell. And, but they want everything. But they too damn lazy to get off their ass and get a good education, start a business, go into the military, whatever they need to damn do to give themselves the life that they want. I know several of them. <laughs> Even the damn ones that call themselves raising me, my adoptive parents. Hmm. I outdid the shit out of both of them. Both of them. I sure did. I have a master's. They don't got shit. My adoptive father, his last job was sweeping a motherfucking flow. And the adoptive mother, her last job was cleaning somebody's motherfucking house at 80 years old. They played their motherfucking self. Big time. 
big time. They were some sorry ass motherfucking people. <laughs> Woo! They were sorry as hell. They was. They lived out people all their fucking life. All their life. They did. Them were some sorry ass fucking people. They were real sorry. Mm -hmm. I outdid the shit out of them. And anytime you have a child that outdo you, you a pitiful motherfucker. I'm serious. So that's why I say I am so proud of myself. And let me tell you, all the things that I accomplished from 2015 when I relocated to Alabama to work for the VA. Oh, go ahead. The Federal Health Administration, federal government, my dream employment. Now, I could have got that same job right here in Florida because we all know that there's VAs all over Florida. Every state has them. But the hater fixed it. So that job was sent to Alabama, thinking I wasn't going to get to it. But I showed them bitches something, didn't I? I showed up and I showed the fuck out up there on their ass. <laughs> Show no. I made it up there and I make that money. Got two fat chicks. And guess what? I bought, I went on every carnival cruise. Y'all heard of carnival cruise? Because I love to travel. I've been on every last one of them. I've been on all of them. I'm serious. All of the cruises, I've done them all. Plus, um, my last two vacations was Sandals Resorts. You heard of Sandals? Y'all heard of Sandals Resorts? They have commercials all the time. Well, um, I did. Um, I went to their um, one of their sister companies called Beaches because they have one called Beaches Sandals. Do that's for um, singles or. Um, somebody that's not traveling with a group or a family, something like that. So anyway, I did beaches, Negrillo, and I did beaches, Turks and Caicos. And it was so nice. Now, I love beaches, Turks and Caicos better. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I did a video. I did a video. Turks and Caicos. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. Yeah, so y'all go back and y'all take a look at that resort. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Yeah. So let me tell y'all everything that I accomplished from 2015. I stay focused. See, success is the best way to win in life. You win by being successful. Okay. You stay focused. You don't give up. You don't let no one, you don't let nothing take you off a prize. Okay. And I stay focused. And see, it take a very special person. You got to have a good head on your shoulder. And the most high give us all brains and a head on our shoulder. And I told him several times, you gave me a good head and I'm so glad I used it. Sure enough. I set my goals. I'm going to comment you every last one off. Now look, okay, so in 2000, August 2015, as a matter of fact, August 10th, 2015, which is my birthday, that was the day that I swore in with the Department of Veteran Affairs, the federal government, the Veterans Health Administration, my dream employment. He asked the most high answer my prayers. And he gave it to me on my birthday. Told our most high. Sure did. I stayed focused. Y'all know probationary period is a year. I stayed focused and I got my probationary period. Passed my probationary period. I passed. Mm -hmm. So I'm a permanent employee. Y'all know what? There's some people who don't pass. There's some people who don't pass their probationary period on these jobs. Mm -hmm. 
on our feelings, but I stay focused, the most high, and his angels. <laughs> and his angels. That's Coco. Come here. I don't drink all the coffee. She be wanting coffee. Anyway, yes, I stay focused. They help me to stay focused. And we pass probation. You can't do nothing without God, so it's okay. Never think you can do something without the most high. Because you can't. He work his end and you work yours. So I passed my probationary period. Um, I was, so, you know, probation, like I say, probation is only a year, right? So I was thinking that I was just going to go up there, do my probationary period and double back at my house that the most I blessed me with. That's paid for, right? So I guess the enemy want to play some little damn game. So when I finished my probationary period, there was no opening on this end, you know, in my area. Well, you know, here in Florida. So, of course, I stayed up there. Fine with me. I got down with the motherfucking get down, baby. Um, I got my supervision done for the top license in social work. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm way up that pay. I'm way up that pay, pay scale, baby. Plus, once you become a licensed clinical social worker, them your private practice papers, baby. I'm a multi-millionaire. That's what you're looking at. Yes, you are. Well, you are. You are. And um, also, I um, completed all of my continuing education courses for my license. Because y'all know... Uh, those of us that's licensed professionals, we got to renew our license so many every so many years. Plus, we have continuing education courses also that we do that we have to do. So I got all of those done. Plus, I'm a veteran of the army, disabled veteran. Okay, so I took care of business. Now, when when I when I went up to Alabama, I was only ten percent service connected disabled veteran. I said to myself, I will never, ever be in that condition again. I got my behind to them doctor's appointments. I got my claims in, and I'm 100%. So I was kicking ass up there. You hear what I say? I kicked ass. I got both of my damn streams of income all the way up to the top. I say focus. Focus. I didn't let those losers drag me down with them. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell y'all something. Your so called kin people and your so called friends, those are really your enemies. They're really your enemies. They're not your friends. They're waiting on your ass to fall. They're the ones setting all the traps. When things happen to you, it's not by a stranger. It's someone who knows you that did that shit. That's just like me being sent up there to Alabama. Someone arranged that. Mm -hmm. We are multidimensional beings. We don't just exist here on planet Earth. Planet Chi Earth, as some call it. As above, so below. Just like we're down here, we were up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they play their motherfucking self. Because I'm a Leo. I'm courageous. I'm a go-getter. I'm a high achiever. August 10th, baby. Straight as Leo. Success. Life half eight. Infinite, nothing but good living forever. Yeah. Mm hmm. They played themselves. And I won. I'm back in my house. That is paid for. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
That's right. So, um, yes, the most high blessing me with a, a house that's paid for. So all I have to do is enjoy life with my money. <laughs> I even draw, I even purchased my dream car with my dream employments. Mm -hmm. BMW 3 Series. And I'm going to graduate. I'm graduating that 3 Series to 7. He's giving me double for my trouble, baby. The Most High is giving me double for my trouble. I, I know my little self, going. I'm, I don't care how big it is, and I'm so small. 740, baby. As a matter of fact, I have already, I'm going to design it again because I am what? Tailor made. Plus, I am true royalty. I am of the royal house of Yahuda. I am a Yahudi. I am daughter of Zion. That's who I am. I am not from Africa. I am from Jerusalem because there's no J's in Hebrew. None. And I am in everlasting covenant with the almighty creator of heaven, earth, the sea, and all that therein is. You know who he is. He's my husband. He's my almighty Elohim. I don't worship nobody but the creator of all things, the most high. I don't worship that J-E-S-U-S mess. Mm-mm. That's idolatry. That person ain't my God. If he's y'all God, that's y'all business. That's y'all problem. But my God is the true and living Elohim. Almighty Elohim. The almighty Elohim of grandfather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all 12 tribes of Israel, which I am of. The royal house of Yahuda. I am a Yahudi daughter of Zion, the wife of the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. And y'all know what? Those haters been lying. But you know one thing about a lie? It's a lie. We've been lied to all our lives. Lied to, lied on. Zion. Real Zion. Royalty that fell from grace. How did we fall from grace? Why did we get put out of our land, Israel? Because our ancestors had turned against the Most High by worshiping other gods. The Most High, the Creator, is our God. We are in everlasting covenant. Sure enough, it is. It's everlasting. I don't care how many lies and preachers tell. The most I'm going to be the fuck out of them for lying and going to beat your ass too with your grown self. Yeah. Sure enough, yeah. That's why you got your COVID and your, muck and your damn monkey pot it's in your asses. You're going to get some more of them plagues. Mm -hmm. Keep on messing with the most high, playing games. He's going to show you who's boss. He already showing my enemies who I am to him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I got a call the other week from someone because I'm on the um what is a call? The union. You know how you join unions on your job. So um, one of the union uh, members, he was the vice president at the time. I looked on myself and I noticed he called. So I called him and I say, hey, um, I noticed you you call me. He said, yeah, I called you by mistake. And I said, oh, okay. 
And so then he, he went on to ask me how I do and I told him about how I was doing extremely well. Extremely well. And then he said, you heard about so-and-so. And I said, no. I said, I've been back here in Florida uh, over two years now. Well, he got COVID and he lost both of his kidneys. He's doing real bad. He was forced to retire. See, God don't play. You want to do something to one of his and he's going to do it right to you and he's going to make it hell for your ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, sicknesses and diseases and death is a punishment from the most high. Because everyone is not going to die. No matter who. Die means to never rise up again. Some people are just sleep. Like Moses, Moses ain't dead. Moses just sleep. And guess what? Let me tell y'all something. All of this foolishness talking about no one knows that they know the hour, that's a lie. Because the most high talk directly to his people. He don't talk to the world, but he talked to his people. He lets his people, which is the 12 tribe of Israel, know what's up. Oh, that's who he's coming for. He's not coming for the world. So I'm not going to be taken by no damn surprise. Because I know at any moment, he's that's, that chariot is going to swing low and I'm back out of here. I'm out of here. You go back and you read that Old Testament. The Most High been living down here with us. In Israel, years ago, the only reason he went back up on his throne was because we had sinned against, against him. And he, when he threw us out of, of Israel and scattered us to the four corners of the earth and punished us for 400 years, he went back up to the throne, the 400. So he's, miss, he's been missing Israel just like we miss Israel. But the 400 years is up and he's back. He's over there in Zion. And Zion is not no, it's not Africa. It is Israel. You have the land of Israel and the people that's originally from it. The bloodline is Israel also. And that's me. Yeah. I am of the royal house of Yahuda. I'm a Yahudi. Yeah, who, me. That's right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's right, most high is here. He's here, he's here, here back down here on earth. And he could come and go as he damn please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all notice that the federal government can't lie no more. Y'all remember back in the day that people would have experienced how they was abduct, abduct, abducted? And then the news, the government will come back and say, oh, they lying. They're not calling them liars no more. They're coming out telling the truth that that did really happen to those people because they know the most high is here. The most high is here, baby. And he's not no spirit. He has flesh and bones just like me. But you're very powerful and don't play. So no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's here. He's here. As a matter of fact, he already paid me a visit a long time ago, way back in what? 2008. Mm -hmm. When I was living in Gainesville, he came and got me. Back in 2008. Took me up into the universe for a bit. <sighs> yeah. He did. Mm-hmm. But of course he brought me back down. But yeah. It's the truth. This is not a game. Sure isn't. They've seen the most high. They've come to the most high. You're gonna see him. Don't the Bible say all eyes gonna see him? 
So I get that. That lets you know he's flesh. He's a he he's a real person. See, the enemy makes up stuff. Talking about he's a spirit. He ain't no damn spirit. Very powerful man. He is the most high. And there's nothing greater than being one of the daughters of the most high. Nothing. I'm royal. See, I am on the throne forever with the most high. Like, don't get no better than that. And I'm on the throne forever. Because when he put us out, us, the 12 tribe of Israel, when he put us out of Zion, he put us out for 400 years. That was our punishment. He scattered us to the four corners of the earth. And he scattered all our wealth and resources to the four corners of the earth. That's how come we have to go to everybody for everything, but not no more. Y'all see it ain't no more food on them shelves no more. Y'all gonna be starving like a motherfucker, but not us. <laughs> not us, honey. Not Zion. The most high coming to get us. And, and honey, we living forever in heaven on earth. That's right. We are very wealthy people. We got all our wealth back right now. The divine transfer has already taken place. The most high said it. Once them 400 years is up, you get all your good living, you get all your things back. Y'all know how punishment works. When you put your kids on punishment, you take everything away from them that they like. And then once their punishment is over, you give it back to them. The punishment ended August 2019. So you see what he did over there in Uganda, don't you? Oh, the heck off. May Uganda, the richest motherfucking country in a split second overnight. And that's just the beginning. Hey, there's no more rich as Russia. None of them. No, all of that is ours. They was uh, y'all was only able to enjoy our wealth, our good living while we was on punishment. We're not on punishment no more. We're not on punishment no more. So now the first is last and the last is what? First. Zion, we back first again. We first forever. We're on that throne with the most high. <clears throat> forever. Psalms 146. Go read it. The most high reigns forever. <clears throat> and his people us 12 tribe of Israel reign forever with him. So there's no more royalty European. <clears throat> that was only temporary. While us true royalty was on punishment. There's no more Queen Elizabeth. No, she just Elizabeth. She ain't shit. She ain't no damn queen. She was no longer on the earthly throne. That just how come Harry married that girl, Megan, because he knew that they was done. He knew that they ruled, they rulership was coming to an end. So that's how come he didn't care anything about mixing that bloodline. It wasn't shit, no way. <laughs> Ooh, and, and not only that, what what wasn't one of them <clears throat> associated with that with that sex ring and all of that? Now he's in trial. He going to jail and going to trial and all of that. Mm-hmm. They ain't shit. The Most High brought all of their asses down. True royalty is back in effect. And it's the 12 tribe of Israel. 
is no longer the Rothschilds and all that mess. No, it's the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the richest families in the world forever. Huh? I'm going to be rocking gold, diamonds, all those precious stones from head to toe. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My social media is going to blow up then. Wasn't that a good coffee time? But it's the truth. 